Hello and welcome to Celtic Knitted Designs. In today's video, I'm going to take you step by step through how to knit a hair scrunchie. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We make videos on uh, knitting tutorials with step by step guides for various projects and how to do specific knitting techniques. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell icon, which will give you a little notification every time we post something new. Okay, on with the scrunchie. Okay, first things first, what you need to make the hair scrunchie. You'll first of all need some knitting needles. I'm using size 4.5 millimeter straight knitting needles. These are Knit Pro Zing. Um, you can use any equivalent uh, in US, that's size seven. You'll also need a pair of scissors, a measuring tape, a darning needle, a roll counter of your choice or a bit of paper and pen to make tally marks to keep you on track and some elastic and last but by no means least the yarn so in today's scrunchie i'm using paint box yarn cotton aran and um, it's 100 percent cotton and it's what i thought was quite good is that it's machine washable so it keeps things hygienic and for this specific scrunchie that i'm knitting up I'm using this paint box yarns cotton iron in slate green. Okay, let's get started. First things you're going to need is your yarn and your knitting needles. And we're going to cast on using the long tail thumb method. So to cast on, we are going to start with our slip knot. More information on how to cast on like this is in the video at the top right hand corner of your screen um, and we're going to cast on 60 stitches in total so we've got our first stitch we need another 59 58, 59 and 60. So there we have all our cast on stitches along our needle. We're now going to switch hands. So put this in our left hand and take up our empty needle. I'm going to slide on my uh, row counter onto here. Um, I just like to use these little ones because it's easier to keep track and I always lose count. So this is a really good way of just keeping on track. Then with our first row, we're going to knit. So we're going to knit right the way along the row using the ball end of the yarn. Just keep that tail to the back because we'll need it for the sewing up. So into the first stitch and knit. If you need to go slower and check out the knitting stitch in more detail check out the video that is on how to knit as I said just knit right the way along those 60 stitches okay so now we've knit all the way along that first row I'm using quite short needles so they do get a bit bunched up but that's not to worry about just as long as you make sure you keep your tension right and then with my row counter I'm just going to slide the first digit on so it says one row. So for these scrunchies um, I've designed them in garter stitch because I think the that pattern gives you quite a good texture for the scrunchie and gives it a bit more volume and um, so that means that we are going to continue by knitting every row until we have knit 20 rows in total. So with row two, we again, we are gonna start by knitting. Uh, if you need any help or advice on garter stitch, I do have a video just on that, which will take you through it really nice and slow, which is perfect for beginners. So with garter stitch, which is a really, really good stitch to do if you're starting off, um, you, you, all you have to do is do the knit stitch into every stitch for every row. So it keeps it really simple, really easy, but yeah, it's super effective. The 
Okay, so now we are getting to the end of row two of our gar stitch. And here, slide my needles down, my stitches down, switch over, add, make sure to add on the row, row two. And we're ready for row three. So again, garter stitch. So we are going to knit into every stitch on the needle till the end of the row. And we're going to continue like that until we have knitted 20 rows in garter stitch in total. So I will see you back at the end of row 20. Okay, so we're now getting to the end of row 20 and hopefully your piece is looking a bit like this. And what we're going to do is just check the measurements of the width of what will be our scrunchie. So there we have our 20 rows, rows of garter stitch and we're just going to check the width of that there. Okay, in order to check the width, one of the top tips I was taught when I was starting off was um, always have the piece flat. I'm obviously holding this up so you can actually see it properly. Um, and then where the tape measure hits the middle of the knitting needle with the stitches on is the, the measurement you should read off. So that's six and a half centimeters, which is perfect. That's what I was looking for. Um, so now what I'm going to do is cast off knitwise all stitches on my next row. So I'm going to knit one, then knit another, and then pick up that first stitch and slide up, over and off. If you need that in a bit more detail, there is also a video on our channel on how to do that for beginners as well. Um, so don't try not to pull too tight because we need to keep it nice and loose so that it sits flat, which will make the folding and the sewing together much easier. Okay, so we are just going to continue casting off knitwise nice and loosely right the way across all 60 stitches. Okay, now we're on to the last two stitches. We're going to knit that last one and then slide the last stitch up, over and off. And then we are going to cut, leaving a wee tail and then thread through the last stitch to secure and cast off, finish the cast off. Okay, so we're going to cut the yarn leaving a wee tail about 20 centimeters. Thread that through the darning needle. Slide the last stitch off the knit needle and then in to the stitch and pull to secure. There we go. Now what we've got, leave that tail attached. So you've got your cast off tail and, and your cast on tail. And we've got a nice rectangle of garter stitch. The width of, as we've measured is 6.5 centimeters. And then with our 60 cast on stitches, we have 33 centimeters. So that's perfect for a medium sized scrunchie. And what we're gonna do now is fold the edges long ways, so like this, so that our cast on edge and the cast off or bind off edge line up. And then we are gonna sew all the way along to create a bit of a tube. So to do that, we're gonna start off with tail end that's attached, thread that through the darn needle and then we will join those two corners so the bind off to the cast on and what I'm going to do is slide under that first loop there pull through and that's our first join. Now in every stitch you can see that 
with the way that it's facing me, there's a little bump, a little bump, a little bump, and each on the other side there's a corresponding bump. There's an inner one and an outer one. So what we're going to do is put the darning needle in between those two. So it's going to go through there. Pull through. And then on this side, I'm going to go in between the two there. And pull through. And just continue that all the way along. Okay, now we're getting to the end of sewing up our cast on and bind off edges a little knot to secure and then pull that off now i'm going to leave these two ends there for the time being i'll explain mine a bit so now we have our tube for our scrunchie and it's looking pretty big and you're thinking what how is this going to be a scrunchie but all will now make sense when we bring in the elastic so there's our sewing up edge we're going to put the elastic through and create our scrunchie. So now you need your elastic. Um, you can use any kind really, I've just gone for this one. Um, and what we need to do is measure a 12 centimeter strand of that elastic. So get your tape measure again. 12 centimeters, so about there. And so that's what is going to actually form the grip of the scrunchie. So that's now if you think you need a bit more if you've got really thick hair or you know the person's going to it likes to have a bun or anything like that then feel free to make it a bit longer. You could go up to 15 centimeters on this. You get a good bit of stretch. What I'm going to do is I'm not I'm going to cut that just on the 12 centimeter mark and then thread it through the darning needle just the end so it's got a grip now there's loads of different ways of doing this next step and if you've got a better way then please feel free to use it or even put it in the comments um, but what I'm going to do is using the darning needle with the elastic attached is thread it through the tube and just bunching up as you go along Make sure you don't get your needle trapped in any of the stitches, which is actually easier said than done. And then once you get to the other end, hold the elastic together. It's a bit, it's a bit fiddly. And then just make sure that your seam that you sewed up is going to be on the inside. So just Tidy up the scrunchie a bit because it gets a wee bit twisted. Got two tails there. Okay, that looks good. Right, I'm going to hold these two ends of the elastic together and I'm going to thread the needle through the two ends of the elastic just to hold them in place temporarily, like that. Get a scrap bit of the yarn, make a little knot at the end. And then thread this end through the darning needle that's currently holding the two ends of the elastic together. Alternatively, you can do this in advance if you have another darning needle. And then I'm going to push the darning needle the rest of the way through the elastic. Like so. It'll be a bit tough, but it should go through till you get to the knot and then just put in a couple more stitches to secure the elastic together. Don't go too close to the edge because obviously that's where the elastic is a bit weaker. And the thing is you're not going to see this so it doesn't need to be neat. It's just to hold it all together. So you want a few in there. I'm always a bit paranoid, so put an extra one for luck. And then I'm just going to tie a knot in the end of that as well. Like so. And snip that off. That's done with. And tuck that inside. 
Now we've got the two tails here. The One of the tails that was for the sewing up, we can just snip off. And tuck inside. And then the longer of the tails we're going to use to sew up the two edges. And that will complete the tube and the scrunchie. So we get our darn needle again. Thread that through. Cotton isn't the easiest to thread for a darn needle, but persevere. And then we're going to join the edges there and there. And we are going to start sewing round. Now, for sewing this one together, just because it's all bunched up, just make sure you've got the edge as you like it lined up. Uh, there and then what we're going to do is pick up these little do you see that there it's the end of the the last knit stitch I'm going to put the darn needle through and then we're going to marry that up with this side and do the same and just pull the skewer so put it through and pull the skewer and just keep doing that all the way around making sure it's lining up at the same time. And by sewing into the stitch like this, you should have a bit of a seamless edge or as much as possible have a seamless edge. And there we go, back to the start. So I'm just gonna put another stitch in there just for good measure. And you can see I've got a nice, pretty seamless sewing up there. And we're just going to thread through one of the stitches. I'm going to go back on myself to make a little knot. Tuck that in. And we're going to cut off, leaving a little tail. And using the darn needle, I'm just going to loop that through. There and using the top of the darn needle, I'm just going to push it into the immediate next stitch where you can see the gap and push the darn needle right through and that gets rid of the tail. Disappeared. And there you go. There you have a pretty cool hair scrunchie. Um, makes a great gift and they're pretty fashionable again at the minute. Um, and with the cotton that we've used, they're machine washable and uh, vegan friendly environmentally friendly because it's sustainable so that's pretty cool um if you've enjoyed this video please hit the thumbs up uh leave any comments you wish and uh, don't forget to hit subscribe and the little bell icon to make sure that you are kept up to date with all of celtic design video and um, most importantly happy knitting